Welcome to your magical moon message. This is the piece of dealer, dealing peace on this daylight savings time night. The moon is in Capricorn. I think it is kissing Venus right now. And uh, the sun is in Scorpio. So in light of this Venus and Capricorn transit that has begun undeniably, we are stepping into the third house activation of a new moon in Scorpio cycle that is already one of the most controversial cycles we stepped into. Remember, Uranus oppositions do not play. And with Saturn involved squaring this medley of supernatural transfusion of your own natural energy, veering into the depths beyond your human consciousness, into, dare I say, the realm of godhood. This is going to enable you over the next days to control a certain transformation state. If we say the base state of your being is one that's natural without exerting any force versus a hyper-focused state that has you exert the limit of your abilities with which you can continue to train to get better every day, but still has you hyper focus at the core to, let's just say, your greatest self. We can call it a transformation state. Not that everybody has to be a transformer, but everyone has the ability to flip a switch. Everyone does it in different ways, but with the moon that's gone over Venus in its sextile to Mercury, we have to respect that the third house aspect to a newly activated cycle represents the development of one's attitude. In that, we manifested an entire change of perspective, especially around the purity of your own understanding of what you've been revealed through synchronicity and also wisdom that is getting ready to ascend you to a higher level of understanding of your own self. This past moon in Sag transit probably helped you overcome certain things you may have still been in denial of or have gained through solid reasoning, better, you know, clear logic of. Regardless, you're ready to take action based off of this understanding. Now that you've understood your understanding of your beliefs around yourself, now you can take this ascended action higher in Capricorn up the mountain and this is going to induce with the trine of uranus unconventional sparks of practical brilliance that will enable you to now control the transformation state that you are harnessing and it's not as simple as just that you're controlling and stepping into a receptivity of the completion and integrity required to take this pure focused state of awareness with Scorpio and to begin to control this in your expression. Similar to a Scorpio rising that's able to psychologically express themselves socially where they're feeling all sorts of shade from other people, but they can still express themselves with their own body language without even needing to use words. Normally through a death stare, like just to let people know they can lose their lives real quick. But yes, this is where this seemingly dark transit is going to get even darker. Think that the moon in Sagittarius brought stuff to light. Well, the moon in Capricorn is literally business as usual. So while this is going to en route to the Pluto conjunction, fully awaken power that you didn't even know you had before we do it again in two months and again in a month, this is going to make certain aspects on the way there that the purpose of this moon in Capricorn transit, which is an earth sign, after you've manifested this passionate ascension, is now controlling, leveling, and literally empowering a lot of the direction, cardinal sign, you are taking this pure energy. After this, we're going to understand the knowledge of that in Aquarius first quarter square. And then with that knowledgeable understanding, we can imagine beyond and take that 
purity into obsessive, you know, fish tarted delusion, which you actually want to do. Trust me. Um, other than that, this Capricorn transit is literally the most incredible. This is going to literally, if you've been hearing or thinking I've been talking about, we're transforming into a greater supernatural awareness. This is going to be the transit where you feel the most incredibly the supernatural power you're awakening. So if, if, it, if this has been more conceptual to you, if you need the universe to smack you in the face with a few signs or synchronicities, not that you need any signs, but like this is definitely that transit that it will feel really real to you. It's already started. Even the moon on Venus, which is going to connect your understanding to, you know, where certain important soul connections lie, but also money, value, and your ability to manifest. You'll find that any actions you take towards manifesting more value is going to perhaps avalanche more than you may have ever expected. So be prepared to control, organize, take responsibility for that as the moon going over Venus, subsequently trining Uranus, okay, sextiling Neptune, and squaring Chiron off the, the, the get-go is bringing some of the most incredible shifts in how you personify your own power that won't only be subtle, but you don't really prepare for it. It's just going to happen, mainly because of what you already sparked with this new moon. And I have to just kind of emphasize, this is a supernatural new moon cycle. So there's nothing normal about what's happening. For those of you who are like kind of distraught about what's happening, like it's never happened before, even though this happens every day, nothing new is like, there's nothing new that's happening, right? But like, there's nothing normal that's going to happen now. So like, it's kind of weird to kind of shock and like shriek at everything because it's not a new normal, but it's just you want to actually take the concept of normal and throw it in the trash. In another few years, we're going to have an alien resurgence, uh, awakening from people, an exorcism, revival of all sort and sorts. I like to use these mystical words to make what I'm saying sound more mystical, but it's it's eerily it's eerily scary when you realize that what I'm saying is also true. But don't mind me. If you want to look at how crazy people can be, just type in Google and type in Florida men. But outside of Florida, man, and outside of aliens, I do need to say that this moon in Capricorn transit is going to be one of the most intense because the ruling planet of Scorpio is in Capricorn. And every time the moon goes into Capricorn, we kick off the gauntlet. But every time the moon goes over Pluto, you want to think about it as a monthly purging that the planet and collective does or the soul does collectively. And so this is where everyone collectively, which you may experience individually, is releasing another layer of the onion, feelings that are impure and out of integrity. But these could be very intense moments that expose the depths of someone's true character. And so we know that Moon and Cancer is gaslighting, Moon and Libra is character assassination, but Moon and Capricorn can bring false ultimatums that you don't wanna have to fall victim for. Um, if you just think logically and point out those fallacies, you're going to awaken aspects of your character where the Sagittarius gave you the perception of this is how you see it. But Capricorn will have you feel the reality like, oh, I'm actually doing stuff with this knowledge like, oh, snap. And so this is why after this, you're going to have to understand the knowledge of what did I do? That's going to be the Aquarius and it's going to make you really understand this wisdom you activate. So remember. When we do activations, all the cycles come in threes. Boom, boom, boom. In this case, it was fixed, mutable, cardinal. And then when we do the first quarter square to the full moon, it's fixed, Aquarius, mutable, Pisces, cardinal, Aries. Boom, then we have the full moon. So this cardinal is it. We've activated supernatural energy, guys. This is it. We've activated supernatural energy. Okay, we started the new moon, we stepped into Sagittarius, everyone's talking about Astro World, and now we're in Capricorn, guys. This is it. We're on the roller coaster, we went to the top, and Capricorn is where it duh, starts going up. Okay, so that Pluto is going to reveal something about you that whether you're ready to accept it or not, you, you're going to fully deal with it. 
And Capricorn is I decide, it's I use, it's I control the decisions you make based on what is revealed. Because we have to respect that there's a Neptune sextile that's connecting your understanding of this aspect of your character to extra dimensional realms that you can only imagine beyond this world. Completing your understanding and perception of all this. Some of you have to believe, even if you can't see, but you gonna see it. You gonna see it. You gonna see it. Okay. Venus in Capricorn is going to really balance out this feeling. I feel like a lot of you are gonna step more into uh, a comfort and being able to do more, especially if you're stepping into more spending power or or putting yourself in a position to get to there over time. So really keep this in mind because with the Uranus trine, some of you are just gonna snap, step into your power. Now, you know this is true because you're feeling everything that I'm saying right now in your own way. And so I just wanna confirm that some of you coming out of the Neptune transit may feel like you're reaching and you're crazy for accepting these realizations about yourself and important people and you're not. Well, you're, you're crazy as fuck. I'm crazy too, it's the greatest thing about you, but you're still telling the truth. Name one genius that ain't crazy. And because you're stepping into your inner genius, it's having you step outside the box. And so you wanna embrace that. And so this is gonna be the transit where at the one, two, three, since it's a fixed sign new moon, we have fixed to sustain energy, the change in perspective, and then bam! We take action before, boom, first quarter square, we sustain the energy, we manifest the change in perception, and then bam! <laughs> Love that, but yeah, that's it, that's it. This Capricorn is going to help you sustain and control a transformation state of consciousness and focus that you're gonna be able to unlock aspects of your character. And this is gonna be very incredible and exhilarating. So, you know, the whole purpose of this is to lead into a collective test to understand the purity that you have because what's gonna happen is some people are gonna tap into this and then they're, because they have a very shysty or shady character, they're gonna use this in very shysty and shady ways. And that's where the Moon and Aqua will reveal that. And some people, they're really cool and they're really peaceful and they treat others the way they want to be treated. So they're going to use this in very divine ways. And that's what they're going to be blessed with, divine uh, miracles. So y'all stay blessed as always. And until next time. Oh, by the way, almost forgot. I have an epic Venus and Capricorn discount sale that's lasting until March 5th, 2022. It's a mega sale on my website on all my consultations and on my tower readings and on the Cosmic Energy tune-ups. So basically, the, it's the lowest my prices will ever be until March and we move forward. Uh, this is in honor of the Venus retrograde, the whole Venus retrograde. That means my readings are on sale for $100 if you wanna get a consultation from me. Uh, my 30 minute consults are 100. My tarot card reports are $50 and you can schedule on the website what time I get to work on them. Um, my schedule is now 9 to 12 a.m. p.m. PST, Monday through Friday. So come holla at me. Seats do fill up fast. As of now, my schedule is open. So I'll talk to you soon.